Leak Code 125, Valid Palindrome, Grind 75, Number 5. In this problem, all you have to do is identify whether a string is a palindrome. And a palindrome is a string or a word or really anything that reads the same forwards as it does backwards. So um, let's just jump into the uh, immediate of n solution. So let's say we have a string called a, a, b, let's make this nicer, a, a, right? We're going to initialize two pointers, one pointing to the beginning and one pointing to the end. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to increment these pointers. But before we do that, I just want to check, is this pointer or the thing that it's pointing to, are these two equal? If they are, no problem. We're just going to increment in, make that same check until eventually, until eventually we're just going to uh, point to the same thing in which our while, our while loop will break. Sorry. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's nothing really scary about it. The only thing that makes this problem kind of annoying is that we're not just given characters only. In fact, even with characters, or sorry, we're not just given characters of the alphabet only. We're given uh, things like commas, as well as even characters of the alphabet can be capital or lowercase. So we're going to have to do some extra logic in our code, which really isn't bad. But first, um, I'm just going to have a base case that I'm going to check. So I'm going to say if si s.size is either 0 or if s.size is 1, I'll just immediately return true, right? Because if there's nothing there, as example 3 shows, that's a palindrome. If it's just one thing, that's also a palindrome, right? Just a letter A on its own is a palindrome. Otherwise, we'll say in L is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to point to the beginning of the string. We're also going to point to the end of the string. So it's going to be s dot size minus one, right? And then while left is less than right, what we're going to do is we're going to basically first what we should do before we do any checks, we should first say that well while L is less than R. And we're encountering a character that's not an alphanumeric character. So like something like a comma or an empty space, right? Uh, S of L. We're just going to increment L and move on with our lives. And we're going to do the same thing for R. So we'll do this while is not alphanumeric uh, s r we're going to decrement r because right it's going the other way um otherwise if two lower so we're going to convert to lowercase just to have it standardized if this is ever not equal so two lower s of r if these are ever not equal, we're just going to immediately return false because we know we don't have to check anything else. We know that we found two things that are symmetric to each other, but they don't equal each other. So we just break. Um, and we should not forget to increment our pointers. So do this. Otherwise, though, as we saw in our example in paint, right, we, if we go through the entire string, and we end up leaving this while loop. We should just immediately return, or we should return true because we went through the loop and we found no issues. That means it has to be a palindrome. So going to run the code. There we go, it works. Let's do some other test cases. There we go, it works. Let's submit and look at it. There we go. Pretty quick. 42%, um, but this fluctuates. Uh, runtime. This is O of n. This is linear because no matter what, you're only going through, no matter what the size of your string is, you're only ever going through like the entirety of the string, comparing both ends every single time as you decrement your pointers. Um, space complexity is O of 1 because we're only utilizing these two things right here. So no matter what the size of our string is, it could be like, 
a length of 10,000. We're only go- ever going to take some memory to call on these pointers here to create them. Uh, that's pretty much it. A very easy problem, a very good problem, I think. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it.